What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the NASCAR Kid. Back at it again from race weekend with Legend Series qualifying. Once again, we are back from Richard Petty Memorial Studios with Ricky Craven on the call, as well as Chase Elliott and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Rusty Wall is not on the call as he is racing. So an issue I made in the rules package, I said that there were 22 drivers and all of them qualified. Well, there are actually 24 drivers, and only 22 of them will qualify uh, to make room for the two drivers that will come out of the uh, bottom tier and Xfinity series. So, without further ado, we are going to get set for 24 cars to go down the track. Going to get you guys positioned right. Oh, no, I want to put you guys over here. Mm, nah, let's go over here. Being very indecisive right now, but let's see. Let's get the perfect angle. Then you guys can see that. Then that corner is going to be a prime hot spot, so I'm glad you guys can see that. So let's go. We're going to start off with Team Pontiac. And leading them down is the 18 car of Bobby Labonte. Labonte. In the starting gate, the correct starting gate. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, so Bobby goes into the corner that I said was going to be a hot spot. A nice run for the driver of the 18 car. Next up is his teammate, the Skittles 36 car of Derek Cope. Also driving a Pontiac. Here we go. Cope is ready to go. Three, two, one. Derek Cope goes over next to Bobby Labonte, so Derek Cope will not qualify. If we have more than two cars wrecked, then we then nobody who wrecks will qualify. So we will just have less segments or some underfilled segments, however it ends up working out. We move on to Team Chevy now, going to be led down by Corey LaJoy's father. In the 74, it's Randy LaJoy. All right, here we go. Randy LaJoy, locked and loaded, ready to go. Three, two, one. Randy goes over. Oh, no. You know, I did some testing on this track, and I purposely adjusted it so that not as many cars would go over, but that is not working so far. And now if any more cars go over, we're going to have an under uh, some missing cars in the field. All right, next up is Phil Parsons in a much lighter 10 car than any of the cars we've seen so far. Parsons is ready to go. Three, two, one. And Phil manages to keep it on all four and get by Bobby Labonte for first place. And at this point, with Derek Cope and Randy LaJoy already wrecked out, if you keep it on all, on all four, you are guaranteed a spot in the show. And the final person from Team Chevy, John Hunter's dad, it's old front row Joe Nemechek in the 87 car. Joe Nemechek, ready to go. Three, two, one. Joe goes over. Oh no, this is going to be a qualifying round of survival. For these Legends cars, only one driver from Team Chevy is in the show, and that's Phil Parsons. As we move on to Team Ford now, from my home city of Chesapeake, Virginia, is Ricky Rudd in the 10 car. Okay, Rudd is in the starting gate. Three, two, one. And Ricky manages to keep it on all four. Is he ahead of Bobby Labonte? Uh, looks like he might be just behind him. So far, these Legends cars are very even. And next up, it's Michael Waltrip in the 21. Remember when Michael Waltrip drove for the Wood Brothers? You probably don't. I don't either. All right, here we go. Michael Waltrip. Three, two, one. Well, Michael not nearly as fast as Bobby, Ricky, and Phil, but at least he keeps it on all four wheels. All right, next up 
in the 37 car. It is Jeremy Mayfield. Sometimes I forget Jeremy Mayfield was even in the Cup Series. Okay, three, two, one. Well, and Jeremy Mayfield might have forgotten he was on the track, but um, because he, with a horribly slow run, will go to fifth on the board. Next up is the extremely heavy 81 car of Kenny Wallace, Rusty's brother. Rusty, that will be going later in the round. Three, two, one. And Kenny sort of bridges the gap between the first three and the bottom two, goes right in between them as Kenny Wallace goes to fourth. All right. Last driver for Team Ford in the 94 car chases dad, Bill Elliott. Awesome. Bill for Dawson, from Dawsonville, in my opinion, one of the best nicknames of all time. All right, here comes Bill Elliott. Three, two, one. Oh, Bill goes to first. Makes it by Phil Parsons and a great run for Bill Elliott. Put him to fourth on the board. Can they go just a little past Kenny Wallace there? Okay. As we move on to the Misfit team, led down by Bobby Labonte's brother, who went earlier, Terry Labonte in the five. Okay, here we go, Terry Labonte. Three, two, one. Oh, an extremely slow run for Labonte. He got held up in the corner. Gosh, Terry, way behind everyone else. And next up, it might be the heaviest car to run yet, the 88 of Dale Jarrett. At double eight, red, white, and blue Ford is taking the track. Three, two, one. Oh, Dale, even slower than Terry Labonte. Can you even see him? As they get through the corner, man, team, the Chevys, the Fords, and the Pontiacs looking strong, the manufacturer teams. And we're officially halfway through qualifying. Next up is the 26 of Brett Bodine in the Quaker State car. I'm getting ready to go. Three, two, one. Brett, is he even ahead of Dale Jarrett? He is not. Past couple three runs have been stinkers. Team Misfit not looking good at all. And now it's Jeff Gordon in the one with the oversized plastic wheels. These are back from Gordon's days in the Xfinity series. Or Bush series, as it was then known. Three, two, one. Oh, you could hear the wheels. Most drivers went over in turn two. Jeff Gordon goes over in turn one. It's going to be a long, well, it's not going to be a long season because it's not a season, but Jeff Gordon will not be racing in the Legends race. All right. Next up, in another Xfinity car, a much more successful one, the 60 of Mark Martin making his return. Will Mark ever truly retire? <laughs> oh, Stargate fell down there for a second. Three, two, one. And Mark actually stops in the corner. What is going on? You can't even see him because he was so far back. Well, I tell you, if anyone's going to break the streak of bad runs for Team Misfit, it's going to be this. Brad's dad. The 29 truck of Bob Keselowski. Yes, this is a truck, but it's an older truck, which is why it is not competing in the truck series. It also has rubber tires. Three, two, one. Well, I mean, he kind of sort of broke the streak of going to last because he got by Mark Martin, but Team Misfit, not with a good run at all. Will Team Intimidator do better? Let's see. With two teams left to qualify, Team Intimidator is led down by Ward Burton. Taylor Earnhardt Sr. elected to finish up the runs for Team Intimidator. All right, three, two, 
one. And for Ward, it is a very decent run. Gets him ahead of Michael Waltrip and Jeremy Mayfield, just behind Kenny Wallace. All right, next up, he's got a name that's fun to say, Dick Trickle in the 90 car. All right, here we go, Trickle. Ready to go. Three, two, one. And Trickle did not make it as far as other cars that look like him did. He doesn't even get into the corner fully, but it's better than everybody from Team Misfit did. All right, the reason he is not on the commentary desk is because he is here. He is in the two car. Rusty Wallace is ready to take the track. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, that car from Rusty is fast! And he gets by Bill Elliott. Rusty Wallace to first on the board. Oh, what a run by Rusty. Dale Earnhardt Sr. from the back has to be happy with that. But before we can get to the true Intimidator run, we have to go through the double zero of Buckshot Jones in this aqua fresh car <laughs> oh no drop the car okay here we go three two one i thought from the start of that run that buckshot was going to be slow but he is not i believe he went he goes to third is he just behind bill elliott uh he is so yes buckshot jones to third all right, and the leader of Tim Team Intimidator going last in the three, the Intimidator himself, Dale Earnhardt Sr. All right, here we go, Sr., get ready to go. Three, two, one. Oh, no! Dale rolls down into turn one and crashes. Dale Earnhardt Sr. is out so unfortunate. You could hear the car rumble, just like Jeff Gordon's and Bob Keselowski's did. Bob didn't wreck, though. All right. Final team to qualify is Richard Petty Motorsports, led down by the youngest Petty, Kyle Petty, in another rubber tire car, that 45 car, with Sprint on the hood and just about everywhere else. Three, two, one. I thought Kyle was going to do good. We didn't hear the rumble sound happen, but he does not. He comes in just ahead of Mark Martin to stay out of last. And now the king himself, Richard Petty, in a car that probably shouldn't be diecast racing, but it is the 43. He's not going to get in any trouble in qualifying. All right, here comes Richard. Oh. Start gate came loose again. Okay. Three, two, one. Well, Richard Petty, that was a very respectable run. He gets by all of Team Misfit to come in just behind Dick Trickle. All right, final runner of the day. He is back from the grave. Richard Petty's dad, Lee Petty in the 42. In my opinion, one of the most underrated drivers in NASCAR history. All right, Lee Petty, the winner of the inaugural Daytona 500 is ready to go. Three, two, one. And Lee, busting it out, gets by Terry Labonte. And Richard and Lee qualified back to back. How about that? So, so let's get the segment set out. Rusty Wallace will start on pole in segment one. Then we have... Bill Elliott qualified second, and then Buckshot Jones just ahead of Phil Parsons. And then final two segments will be led down by Bobby Labonte and Ricky Rudd, respectively. Okay, and then it's Kenny Wallace just ahead of Ward Burton. Look at that, Kenny and Rusty will start one and two in segment one. Ward Burton to two, and then we got Michael Waltrip and Jeremy Mayfield, a couple guys from Team Ford. Dick Trickle joins Bobby Labonte in segment five. And the king, Richard Petty, will go to segment six, joining Ricky Rudd. 
Lee Petty will start third in segment uh, one with the Wallace brothers. And then he's followed by Terry Labonte. And then just behind him, they were neck and neck. It's Dale Jarrett and Brett Bodine. And lastly, starting third, Bob Keselowski. And then he just edged out Mark Martin, Kyle Petty. Okay. And then starting fourth in segment one will be Mark Martin. And then the two advances from the Xfinity series will start fourth in segments two and three. And since three more people crashed than we expected, segments uh, four, five, and six will only have three cars. All right, I'm going to give you guys one last look. Segment one, we have Rusty Wallace, Kenny Wallace, Lee Petty, and Mark Martin. Segment two, Bill Elliott, Ward Burton, Terry Labonte, and one of the people from the Xfinity series. Segment three, Buckshot Jones, Michael Waltrip, Dale Jarrett, and the other person from the Xfinity series. Segment four, Phil Parsons, Jeremy Mayfield, Brett Bodine. Segment five, Bobby Labonte, Dick Trickle, Bob Kislowski. And segment six, Ricky Rudd, Richard Petty, and Kyle Petty. All right, thank you guys again so much for watching the NASCAR Kid. And once again, we bid you farewell from Richard Petty Memorial Studios, and we will see, I will see you next time.